아, 네, 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 네. <웃음> so, guys, we're here with a Dead Eye player for the interview content. It's been a very long time. I try to get as many classes as I can, and Dead Eye is one of the classes that are very rare, uh, at least in Korea. Plus, in NA as well, there's not that many Dead Eye players within my stream, but sometimes uh, they are the most passionate ones too, I think, uh, because it's a very tough class and it's very troublesome to master. So we're going to do a small introduction as usual, and we're going to go through the basic skills reviews and <clears throat> the builds and some of the thoughts, very simple stuff, very beginner stuff. And then we'll talk about like, you know, the personal, the play styles and everything. And then we'll finish up with killing the guardian as well. All right. So we're just going to continue. I'm going to ask a question and then uh, going back and forth and translate accordingly. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's continue. 안녕하세요. 저는 시즌 1부터 2년 좀 넘게 데빌헌터를 본캐로 플레이하고 있는 펜시 마요네즈라고 합니다. 제가 데빌헌터를 선택하게 된 이유는 오픈 베타 때 이틀 정도 데빌헌터를 플레이했던 기억이 좋게 남아서 다시 복귀했을 때 데빌헌터를 고르게 됐어요. 총을 세 가지 총을 쓰니까 그게 멋있어서 골랐던 것 같아요. 아... 성능은 딱히 보지 않아. His name is Kenshi Mayonnaise, guys, and then he started from season one. He played for two years. He's been playing Deadeye ever since. And after he played Deadeye, he came back uh, and he started playing Deadeye at, again, right? He was continuing playing it. Also, the reason why he's been playing Deadeye is because it's, a, it's an exciting class, it's hard, and then it also has three guns. And it's interesting where the gun rotation, then he just has fun with the actual class. Uh, he doesn't really care about the performance of any other classes. It's just... It just makes him have the most fun for playing Dead Eye. 천하고 싶은 점은 어 자기가 한 만큼 딜이 잘 나오는 것. 그리고 이번에 비아키스 있죠. 비아키스에서 데빌런터가 굉장히 강한 편이에요. 샷건이 쿨타임이 긴데 음. 비아키스가 기믹이 굉장히 많이 나와서 음. 그 시간 동안 쿨타임을 돌리고 다시 음. 기믹이 끝나면 다시 샷건을 쏘고 이런 음. 방식으로. 음. 이번 메타에서 좋다. 음. So 아, 네. going over him recommending Dead Eye. Uh, the reason why he recommends Dead Eye is you can pull off as much DPS as you want based on your skill level. As in the, it's like the class feels like the better you play, your performance you can see you can see your performance the better it plays because the class itself is so it's a very tough class as you guys may know. And he talked about Vicus a little bit. You know, Vicus is out in NA, where you know the shotgun uh, cooldowns are much longer, and Vicus you have to deal with doing gimmicks more than um, just doing straight up DPS compared to other bosses like Falcon and stuff, right? So since Vicus just goes around a lot, and since she dodges all this stuff, and by the time she lands, your shotgun cooldowns will be coming back. So therefore, you will be able to dish out as much damage as you can. So within the current meta that you guys have for Vicus, Deadeye is one of the best DPSs if you are good. Like if you're good, that's the actual uh, requirement as well. 비추천하고 싶은 점은 일단 초보자가 하기에 좀 힘들다. 저도 이거 처음 시작했을 때이 부활의 깃털을 엄청 많이 썼어요. 맨날 죽어가지고 세팅이 고정화 돼 있어서 뭔가를 연구하고 그런 재미는 이게 힘들어요. So we asked a question about uh, why would you not recommend this class, right? It's not very good for a beginner. Uh, this class is not very good for a beginner. And he said that when he played this game, when he was playing Dead Eye earlier on, he used a bunch of these uh, pl <laughs> the plumes. You guys call this plumes, right? He said he was using the plumes all the time because he died all the time, right? He wouldn't recommend this class particularly for newbie players uh, or beginner players. There's not Dead Eye is very set in stone in terms of builds. And in terms of skills as well, uh, because it's it's very black and white. As in, some certain skills are very bad, and certain skills are very good. So you only use kind of certain uh, set set of skills. And as for research, you can only do like a certain builds where you know. Let's say do a very small comparison. Let's say you go you play like a, a different class. They have multiple builds. Dead Eye, you only have a set of builds uh, because they're very simple. So they're basically very hard, but they're very simple to build. Oh, look at that. 1596. 
Oh, plus 25 weapon too. Holy, very strong. 잔혹한 추적자라고 그 시너지 스킬입니다. 저는 스킬 포인트가 남아서 7을 줬는데 7을 주면은 이동 이동 속도가 20% 오르거든요. 3초간. 네. 이거를 이용해서 백 포지션을 잡는데 도움을 주려고 찍었어. So we're gonna talk about skills now one by one, and then his thoughts of uh, why he chose the skills, etc. And starting up with Spiral Tracker. He has the weakness exposure, and then he has quick pace. And then the reason why is because he has leftover skill points. Obviously, we have more skill points in Korea, and he put that because he he wants to maneuver himself better to get the back positions. 두 번째 유탄인데요. 이것도 시너지 스킬로 4만 줘서 시너지가 항상 유지될 수 있게끔 이렇게 두 개를 루는 출혈 룬고 딴 거를 낄 수도 있어요. 속행이나 광분 이두 개에도 선택지가 될수 있는데 아무래도 딜 사이클 제일 처음 시작에서 계속 던져줘야 하는 킬이다 보니까 출혈로 DPS를 조금이라도 올리려고 So for AT grenade, uh, he uses it as a synergy skill, only gives it to level 4 uh, And for rune choices, he, he recommends something like bleed And you can also put quick recharge But as, as, for, as for a skill where you use it always in the beginning before your skill cycle because it's a synergy skill, right? For additional crit rate, you tend to put bleed so that you can actually keep on reset, resetting that bleed stack for extra DPS. 사용지탱이라는 대원의 카운터 스킬인데요. 어, 이거는 음. 스킬 포인트가 부족하면 안 찍어도 돼요. 근데 음. 좀더 빠르게 타격할 수 있어서 카운터 더 편하게 해준다? Yeah, so for enforce execution, Uh, he has said if you don't have any skill points, you don't need to level it up. But if you level it up to 4, it's much faster and then you get to uh, counter much easier. Skill points are not given to use the same thing as the same thing. The pace is a little bit more than the same thing, but it's almost the same So for summer saw shot, he also recommends without he, he uses it without leveling it because you have a lot of uh, skills at the back. You have, you can take eight skills, right? So he takes this. It's not as fast as a space bar, but it's a little faster than walking, right? 그 다음은 equilibrium인데, 저 이, 이거는 이 despair랑 레이드에 따라서 바꿔가면서 찍거든. 만약에 피면이 좀 필요한 레이드다 싶으면은 이걸 다 찍어서 하고. 시명 시너지를 좀더잘 유지할 수 있도록 급소 노출만 줘서 음. 레이드를 So talking both on equilibrium death fire So equilibrium you guys will know there's a weakness exposure synergy as well It lasts for 12 seconds, it's pretty good What's important is uh, So you have that choice and then you also have death fire as well And what death fire is, he replaces equilibrium to death fire sometimes When the raid requires super armor You guys don't utilize super armor as much because there aren't there aren't that many raids that rec uh, that is a mandatory requirement for it. A super armor is actually really good because sometimes it knocks you out or it it, it it falls you right. So if he feels that if he requires super armor, he replaces equilibrium to death fire. If it doesn't, he wants to keep that synergy up 100% of the time. That's why he takes equilibrium with uh, level four. 이동기 인첩 사격인데 이거는 이동기임에도 칠을 7을 주 플레이한 그 이유가 탁월한 기동성이 음. 되게 체감이 많이 돼가지고 만약에 네. 이거를 찍지 않고 하면은 이 정도밖에 안 움직이는데 예. 이거를 탁월한 기동성을 주고 하면은 이만큼 거리가 엄청 늘어 음. 그래서 백그 포지션이 중요한 데빌런트한테 꽤 중요한 스킬이라고 생각 네, 루는 속행을 준 이유가 레이드를 하다 보면 이 스킬을 이용해서 엄, 엄청 많이 사용해서 포지션을 잡거든요. 네. 이 스킬이 거의 상시로 돌아가다 보니까 이 속행 룬에 있는 쿨감 효과를 가장 잘 받을 거라고 생각해요. So for a dexterous shot, uh, he feels that this is an important skill because as you may notice, he showed you a demo where he has the agile movement. And then he has excellent mobility, right? So if you add the excellent mobility and then have the additional tripod level on it, the distance is so far, right? As you guys notice the difference. Um, so when you have a larger distance, you're, you'll be able to catch the enemy's backs more often. And that's what's more important about uh, doing this particular uh, tripod. And 
And as for runes, he also had a quick recharge where I asked, um, he added the quick recharge because you usually use this Dexter shot very often. And if you have a skill that you use very often, it is pretty recommended to add in quick recharge because it can actually take off so much of your other skills cooldown to get yourself ready for your next uh, rotation much faster because it, it does increase a lot of, it, of your DPS. And it's a little bit RNG based, but it's a pretty good rune uh, if you're putting it on a skill that you use it all the time. So, quick shot is going over one of the uh, major uh, damaging skills. Uh, he has Swift Fingers, he has Initiate Shot, and then Final Light. This is a set in stone, apparently. Uh, this is set in stone, and he adds in Gilwin Rune, and the reason why they add in Gilwin Rune is because he feels like even though it's a little bit of preference, you will feel clunky that if you have a Gilwin Rune on. Oh, without a Gilwin Rune, so he recommends putting it in, or you can actually try it to see anything else. Yeah,但是前半段的塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔塔
And for close shot versus full range, what a difference is, uh, you have to be close to do a lot of damage. Uh, and he showed you the example. Um, when you're doing on close shot, if you're not close shot, uh, the damage is almost halved. And for full range, your damage is very consistent. Uh, and as he said, it's about 11 to like 12% damage difference. So if you are able to stay close, and if there's more risk to it, but you can reach higher potential uh, damage. Uh, so from this case, this is also preference based. If you are not comfortable getting too close to the boss, you would need to use the tripods uh, accordingly. All shotguns are the most important skill of the most important skill. And then this is the same. These two are the same. 플레인지냐 근접 사격 이거 음. 두 개로 고르면 So shotgun rapid fire uh, he said this is the slowest skill so you usually put the highest level of go in rune on this and for tripods the enhanced shot and special bullet is set in stone but as for the first tripod as we talked about on the sign of apocalypse right the close shot and full range the same thing the same preference thing uh, close shot more damage more risk and full range is Consistent, consistent damage, safer damage, but it's less. Shotgun's division, there. First, the same. Plane, or 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 위하도 주의해야 되고 그 다음은 이 지배자의 지랑 분리하는 자 이거 이거는 취향 차이에요. 그 음. 지배자의 의지는 시전 속도가 좀 느린 대신 퍼펙트 존이 없어요. 그냥 쭉 당기면 되고 사거리도 더 길어. 그 대신에 어 분리하는 자를 선택하면 퍼펙트 존을 어디서 맞추느냐에 따라 so for shotgun dominator, same thing, the first tripod, the full range and close shot. And for second tripod, the weak point detection versus enhanced fire. So he told us to not uh, make sure to get the weak point detection because that's set in stone. Uh, some people do get it confused apparently. In raids, the weak point detection does more damage uh, overall. And then we were talking about the third tripod, which is uh, Master CQC and the ruler is this is also a preference. For Master CQC, you just hold the button and then you just do damage and then it's consistent. It has longer range and then it's much safer to do the damage that you need. But for ruler, we were going to go over based on where you land your perfect zone, you do more damage and he was going to show it to us. No, he's going to show it to us. Okay, he's going to show us the CQC. 이렇게 쭉 누르면 돼요. 음. Oh, you need to just keep on pressing it. Sorry for the quality of the video, guys. Uh, there's very some lag issues, I think. 그 굴림하는 자는 이렇게 퍼펙트 존을 맞추면 되는데. 네. 이거를 앞쪽에서 이렇게 끌면은 더 빨리 쏘는 대신에 딜이 조금 줄어들고 이렇게 이렇게 짧게 치는 게. 이거랑 데미지가 같아요. 그리고 아. 쭉 당겼을 때쭉한 7% 정도 더센 걸로 알고 더 고점을 더 세게 때리고 싶으면은 분리하는 자를 채택하고 아니면 뒤 누수가 적고 사거리가 더긴좀더 편한 거를 쓰고 싶으면 지밀자의 의지를 이렇게 uh, talking about the ruler again. Basically, if you if you stop your perfect zone at the earlier time. Uh, you can finish your skill much faster uh, at, a, at a faster pace uh, that which is is the exact same dps as the first tripod uh, where you just hold the button so this faster uh, finishing is the exact same damage as the master of cqc however so this particular longer uh perfect zone that he just did it does more damage, about 7 to 8%, as he said, uh, for ruler. So if you have the tripod for the ruler, you have a higher ceiling because you get to control that, right? So, but and also you have an option to do it shorter. So as he said, it's a preference space because the first for the master CQC, you just hold it for that consistent damage. 
or the ruler, you can do the, about the same, but, but you can also control it for higher ceiling opportunity. If this is troublesome for you, uh, you, you base it off the, uh, what you need to do. Oh, 이거는 트라이포드가 고정입니다. 그 세계. 그리고 특이한 게 짝권인데 그 근접 사격 플레인지가 없이 어 사거리 상관없이 풀 데미지가 들어가요. 이게 가장 무력화가 세거든요. 그래서 압도를 줘서 무력화를 많이 할. 수... So for last request, he he was just talking additional stuff. So the tripods are set in stone for a quick prep, massive explosion volley. But he also recommends something like an execution. What execution does is he dashes forward and it attacks a lot faster, but it does less damage. But for someone that requires, you know, you can, if you have just, an, just a little more maneuver, right? Just a little more maneuver before, you know, investing into tripods and all that stuff. Getting used to those kind of maneuvering a shotgun skill first may help you uh, to get better and then utilize something that is a much harder the harder way to play uh, and more dps according so massive explosion is a set in stone thing but you also have an option to do execution if you want to make your uh maneuvering much easier and this, since this is the highest staggering skill make sure you put in the highest overall room on it so that you can do uh your stagger accordingly uh, so for rifle skills, as I said, this is more of a utility base, as in doing destruction or doing stagger. Uh, so for spiral flame, he just adds in quick aim because that w that's the whole purpose of it, you know. 다음은 마지막으로 대장인데 이거는 솔직히 좀 거의 안, 쓰, 안 쓰긴 하는데 아브라엘 슈드나 그렇게 미리 보고 어, 판단할 수 있는 이거를 써서 버티는 편입니다. So and as for catastrophe, it's the same case for uh, Gunslinger too. So what you do is for Broshaza, uh, for a raid like Broshaza, where she has a mechanic where she knocks you over and then uh, gets you off the stage, right? You guys have seen that multiple times within the streams. He uses this rarely, but you do have a super, another set of super armor on your catastrophe. But you know, if you lack a skill points, you're free to not take it up. But he uses this for another option for having a super armor uh, to make sure that uh, she ha he has it ready so that he doesn't uh, get into a very bad situation if you don't have it. Ah, 그리고 이거 또 중요한데 세번 체인 스킬이고 세번쓸수 있거든. 데빌런터가 기믹 기믹이 끝나고 나서 아드레날린이 꺼졌을 때 빠르게 3 스택을 채울 수 있게 도와주는 아 오. 그러면 3 스택이 오 so for triple explosion uh you know you guys noticed there's he didn't level the skill up but basically you use triple explosion to keep your adrenaline stacks up so I think that's a pretty good tip to hear. But sometimes dead eyes go uh, adrenaline most of the time for their engraving, and keeping that adrenaline stack up is very crucial. And since it's a chain skill, you can have three stack of adrenaline immediately if you just use the triple explosion. Oh, 그리고 이거 마지막으로 perfect shot은 어 그냥 할 킬이 다 풀릴 때 그냥 짤들 용으로 전했어. 아 그리고 대원이 아예 안 전데? 특이한 점이 10 레벨이든 1 레벨이든 데미지가 똑같아. 아 모든 스킬이. 트라이포드 효과만 적용받는 그러니까 오. 지금 이게 1렙에 430 떴는데 만약에 트라이포드를 안 찍어도 똑같이 어, 그러네요. 어. 레벨에 영향 안 받아서 so as you guys, you guys just have seen that, right? So for, for perfect shot and you know he just uses it for additional you know, additional DPS when you have when you don't have anything else to do, right? But as point out, uh, the Dead Eyes Dead Eyes unique this is level one versus level ten. It doesn't do anything to damage. It only the tripod affects your the main DPS of the skill. Um, not like the other some classes, your damage do increase if you level up your skills, right? But since for Dead Eyes case, this is only the tripod difference. There's no reason for you to not just walk around and do nothing. Maybe uh, aiming a perfect shot and just getting that in to squeeze in on just a little bit more DPS is pretty uh, important because it's it's literally the same thing even if you have it as level one. Oh, tripod would be the only difference. So 
for in this case, as he was saying, is using utilizing the skills as much as you can while um, even at a situation where you can't do any DPS, it's a good idea to just squeeze in a little more DPS, squeeze in a little more skills, and then your play will be your plays will be definitely uh, improved because you'll be pressing more buttons. So uh, Dead Eye, very simple. Uh, it looks like the main shotgun skills you just put the cooldown, cooldown and damage gems, and you put the quick shot on damage and cooldown gems and then you have um you have an option to put different things and then he has put cruel tracker uh for damage gems. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put the the 정, 정기 흡수를 생기지 않는다면 목걸이 치명 특화에 나온 일 특화 만약에 정, 정기 흡수 없다 공이속이 좀 필요한데 그러면 특신 목걸이에 반지 두 개를 치명 주고 나머지 특화 주고 아 So he was talking about the combat stats a little bit and compared to Korea uh, NA uh, there are a lot less uh, resources there. So what he's recommending is for his particular build. So as you notice here, he has 1800 and 555 swiftness. Uh, he's saying that you can't do this build is because you guys don't have a full uh, relic set plus you know the additional levels of the relic set. You're missing a lot of crit. Therefore, if you guys want to uh, focus on you know having the ceiling, he recommends moving some spec into crit because you'll be lacking a little bit of crit so for this particular build if you're doing it similarly having adrenaline as you're engraving maybe moving one or two rings to crit is uh, recommended while having a spec swift necklace right and so as for engravings uh for newbie uh players who are new for cursed doll instead of that cursed doll that cursed doll can be Spirit of Sortion, right? And since if you have Spirit of Sortion, what you can do is you can have Crit uh, Necklace, a Crit and Spec Necklace. And because the Spirit of Sortion seems to cover your lack of attack speed and movement speed. And with that, you can have like level 2 Adrenaline and then level 1 Enhanced Weapon. Or you can also have level 3 Enhanced Weapon instead of level uh, 2 Adrenaline and level 1 Enhanced Weapon. Yeah, for example, you can just have the Enhanced Weapon as a whole instead of having adrenaline. Other than that, that's what he was uh, explaining until this far. Alright, so basically I asked the if you go three fours and a a four threes and a one, uh he's just he's just thinking like giving like a recommendation. Uh, because uh, most of the people in NA is a four three uh four threes and a one. Yeah, so uh, as we talked about uh, for engravings, like when you guys are having three fours and a one, removing curse doll out of this build is uh, is optimal because, as he said, the enhanced weapon engraving is is very very efficient as a level one because it gives you a lot of crit. Uh, but with the, even with the level three adrenaline, uh, you basically don't have enough crit uh, to make the keen bond viable. So what happens is if you have keen, if you have to have keen blunt, instead of the high spec, putting like a station, like a spare ring on crit to just to just to for, like reinforce that amount of crit that you need to make keen blunt viable. In the beginning, you guys will have to do that, but later on, when you guys have the full relic sets and everything, you'll have an additional seventeen percent to twenty percent crit. Right? That's when you that's when you kind of skyrocket and can uh, able to add more spec to your uh, build. To increase that, increase that ceiling. 일단 가성비로 나쁘지 않은 것 같아요. 왜냐하면 음. 이 사멸에도 TP 중이 있고 예둔까지 가다 보니까 TP 중이 높은 편인데 정단 사용 효율은 다른 직업에 비해 좋은 편이라고 생각. For example, uh, additionally, as I asked them a question, because you guys may think as well. I asked him, like, what about something like Precision Dagger, right? So Precision Dagger, uh, I said he would be okay for, like, a very budget engraving because it gives you 
crit chance, right? Even though it kind of decreases your crit damage, um, it still makes the king bond viable, and then you can do a lot. Uh, you can do damage accordingly. So, again, that eighty percent final crit rate is what is important. And if you have precision dagger, you can add that to your arsenal, and you calculate accordingly. Okay, so how much do I have? Twenty percent. And let's say you don't have adrenaline at the time, so you, you don't do that. Then back attack 10%, and then you have enhanced weapon level 1. To add that on top of that, right? And then you add some crit, and then you add a um, relic set if you happen to get it. And if the total number equals to 80%, you are in a good spot. So now we can talk about some of the play styles uh, that we can share about, and then we can do the Guardian when they finish it off. 저는 일단... 그 입장 전에 네. 보, 레이드 같은 거 입, 입장 전에 입장 전에 네. 일단 스택을 다 쌓아놔요. 어. 여기 막 사람들 대기해서 모이, 모여 있잖아요. 아, 아, 예, 거기서 예. 계속 이렇게 스킬 던져주면서 스택을 쌓고 입장하고 어 들어가서는 짝권 시전 속도에 따라서 나누거든. 이두 개는 좀 시전 속도가 긴 스킬이라서 네. 좀 각을 보고 쏘는 편이고 어 중말의 존재랑 최후의 만찬을 거의 바로 쏴요 딱히 사이클 같은 건 없고 그냥 희명 시너지 붙이고 스킬 다 박으면 끝인 직업이라 딱히 뭐 설명할 게 없어요 본인이 <웃음> 레이드 숙련이 돼서 보스 패턴을 음. 좀 읽을 줄 알면은 음. 어, 사건을 우겨 넣을 수 있다. 음. 그 점이. So, so beginning, uh, what he was talking about was before you go into the raid, right? You know, on the where you guys, everyone just waits. Uh, he uses you know the rifle skills to stack up the adrenaline beforehand. Does that make sense, guys? So he stacks up all the adrenaline, and then he goes in. And what's important about Dead Eye? Is you know when you go into the handgun mode, you put your synergy skill on uh, first, and then on your Z skill, your shotgun. You have two differences. You have Sign of Apocalypse and Last Request as more of like a tester. So Sign of Apocalypse and Last Request is faster, and with a less uh, with a shorter animation frame to a point that you kind of use those first and. If you find if you find an opportunity, you you use something like a shotgun rapid fire or shotgun dominator to do your full DPS. And also another point that he talked about was when you swap into your handgun, as you guys notice here, there's some there's an icon down here that lights up, right? So he uses the handgun and then uses quick shot and cruel tracker on the side to make sure that you know he just squeezes just a little bit more DPS in. Or maybe he can switch to the rifle and do some DPS in as well, right? So when he does that, you know, make sure you stack up on all that adrenaline stacks, and then you use your handguns accordingly. And when that and when your shotguns light up, you switch up, and then you play, uh, you dish dish out the max DPS with your shotguns. So instead of like a cycling, instead of like a set cycle that you're supposed to do compared to the other classes. Uh, it depends on how masterful your class is, uh, masterful your skill is with the class because it's very situational and you have to notice it every time when the skill cooldown comes back and then you, you have to uh, squeeze in as, like, again, I keep saying squeeze in as much DPS in because that's what this class is usually about. So this is the same case for a similar class with like gunslingers and stuff. You're supposed to squeeze in as much DPS as you can in a very safe spot uh, at a given time. Uh, so I think that's what's uh, I think that's what um, he was trying to point out. What do you call it? The priority of uh, gems is shotgun rapid fire and shotgun dominator. These are group one, and shotgun apocalypse and last crest is group two, and then everything else is group three, right? And the funny part is when you say when you go from shotgun rapid fire versus shotgun dominator, apparently shotgun dominator in theory is better, and apparently someone was using the <laughs> using the DPS meter. He got banned, but he shared the information that Shotgun Dominator was having the uh, the most uh, percentage and DPS pie within the the, ge the gems that it has for uh, Deadeye, right? So, <laughs> in terms of what is the most important level 10 gem, 
would be a shotgun dominator. But that's pretty funny where he actually so uh, f someone that he knew was using it and he got banned but it's a noble sacrifice yeah. <laughs> shotgun for freedom <laughs> solo playing with dead eye a back attack class for hanumatan is pretty tough i think so kind of interested in how this is gonna be does Dead Eye stream guys most of the korean veterans actually don't stream so it's, it was actually really tough for me to uh well lust boy mostly to convince uh him to show her some of his stuff. It's actually really hard to get to, uh, some of these guys to do interviews. <laughs> so as you guys know, you guys notice he's stacking up the adrenaline stacks, right? You saw how he was stacking up the adrenaline. So uh, again, kind of sorry for the quality difference, uh, quality, but it's like there's a limitation on Discord call. Also, when he notice uh, when he does that big attack. Make sure he does the, he makes sure he does the longer animation skills accordingly. There you go. So he's keeping that adrenaline stack. Look at that. And the adrenaline stack and the crit synergy too. And then he makes sure he uses different uh, skills accordingly too. Shorter animation the better. That counter. This move though. So look at that. But he couldn't do the destruction, uh, it wasn't just enough, but that's still fine. Yeah, so this is how his peak Deadeye play is. Peak Deadeye play. The crisp movement. Oh, destruction with that pistol. Nice. So look at that, so he's moving around, so he's gonna keep that journalist stack too. So, uh, as you guys seen, the crew tracker, right? That's the different tripod. He uses the faster tripod so that he can actually land uh, some of the projectiles like that, see? And then he switches the shotgun. Look at that move. Oh. 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 <laughs> no back, no back. <laughs> That rifle. So look, look at him how he's squeezing all the DPS in. He's squeezing that DPS in. And then he's using the other skill accordingly. Oh, so this is the spirit bomb. We see it sometimes. So you're supposed to counter him after when he glows blue. There you go. Nice counter. And then he's going to go behind them. Destruction. Nice. Look. Holy shit, that damage. Wow. Wow. Dude, I wish I wish the quality was much better. Cause I can see it with, even though the frames are dropping, right? So he moves in. But look at this, the, the, the key thing that he talked about was make sure you keep that adrenaline stack up. And you use your uh sub shotgun skills, which is your uh which is your sign of apocalypse and last request first. And if you think you're going to get a, a sure hit in, you're going to use your main skills. And then that awakening there as well. Wow. Yep. Make sure that he's smooth. Sheesh. Oh, look where. Oh, he got a lag. <laughs> <laughs> you got some of that lag. Guys, you know one thing that's crazy right now? Is you guys notice he has the small pot? <laughs> wow! Didn't even need a pot. That was crazy. Clean. Yeah, 
스킬 써봤자 이 유탄이 유탄 마스터랑 플라즈마 마스터랑 메테오 스트림 이거 쓰는 건데 이거랑 샷건이랑 비교가 안 되게 약하니까. 음. So I mean, uh, for his his opinion about handgunner is basically the quick shot is about the same damage, and then since you can't use shotgun, uh, you'll be using your handgun skills on the other stuff like you know like a plasma or like a grenade. A meteor storm, etc. So it's like a different play style. It's just a different play style, but you know, playing with the shotgun is is much higher ceiling. So, uh, dang, that was his name. But he never played it, so uh, don't put this uh, word on it. But like, I mean, I invited him as a enhanced weapon that I. 박성기는 데미지는 똑같아요. 근데 어 이거는 도넛 도넛 모양에 좀 시전 속도가 빠르지만. 사거리가 짧다? 그게 되고 이거는 좀 오래 걸리지만 그래서 취향의 영역이라고 생각하면 돼요. Well, okay. So, uh, as for the awakening, uh, as he was saying, is uh, it's a choice. They do about the same damage, but the first one goes in a donut and the second one is just a fire. So, but it just takes a little bit longer for in terms of animation. 제가 봤을 때 좋은 거 같긴 해요. 이거랑 mm -hmm. 이거 이거 같이 끼면은 Oh, so he said it's pretty good if you use it with the the forest, the forest giant for additional uh additional defense. 쓰면 안 되는 레이드가 그 암속성 아니 성속성 취약 보스 목들이. 네. 거기서는 무조건 세구빛이 더 좋기 때문에. 아 일단 이 화염탄이 그 기스베드가 각인이 적용이 안 돼요. 고속 고속이라. So for so for those of you who are asking why in, why quick prep and seven incendiary bomb, so what happens is, incendiary bomb doesn't doesn't get the effect from uh, engravings and gems, so it actually doesn't impact your DPS as much. You rather fire it much faster with using quick prep. I did not know that, so that's a good question. 아 근데 유저가 적은된 이유가 있어서 좀 저도 뭘 말해야 될지. So basically, he doesn't know what to say because uh, there's a reason why they're low user base in uh, Dead Eye. <laughs> there's. But this is really interesting. Oh, but he said it is. It is very fun. He just said it is very fun. And as for people who are asking about streams and YouTube, uh, he does upload YouTube videos uh, t from time to time. It is going to be linked on. The interview video at the below as well. It was a little shorter, and then it was very clean. He talked. We talked about that eye, and I think we learned a lot. And I'm pretty sure that those of you who are interested in that eye, uh, who are playing that eye, I hope you guys are motivated to keep playing that class if you're having fun with it because you will. From me looking at him, I feel that if you keep playing harder, you know, if you keep practicing, I think you will definitely get rewarded. As long as you keep trying, uh, and um, if you just keep loving the class, I think that's very important. I think this was a, he was uh, what he, what he was ultimately trying to say, and I definitely do agree with him. Um, and as always, it was a good time, and I'll try to get more interview content soon. Uh, and later on, if 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 we can, maybe we can bring him back again uh, if if something big changes, right? So as always, thanks, guys. Bye.